My mind, or what's left of it, body and soul, is telling me that I am the guru of Big Brother's Big Mouth. And welcome to Big Brother's Big Mouth. Joining me tonight, I have former EastEnder Wendy Richards. Yeah! And fabulously talented singer and songwriter Dane Bowers. Yeah! And this outspoken bunch of gobshites, the studio audience. Unfortunately, we'll be chatting to them later. But first, remember, we want to hear what you've got to say, so get in touch by phoning us, texting us, or emailing us your eyepieces and messages via the website. Well, our resident cheesy quaver, Tracy, has finally come out of her shell. And now that she's a guru, she's safe for another week. Ugh. So, we'll just have to deal with it. Tracy, time to stop your stuff. I'm getting to know Tracy a lot more. She's actually very, very funny. She is? Well, if she's got drinking her, she's all fun. <laughs> 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 Do you think Ziggy and Chanel's relationship was genuine? No. No, fuck you, Chase. You have not got a clue how genuine that was. <laughs> Obviously not liked in the house, am I? <laughs> I don't deal with noise in my life, so I won't deal with him in here. Tracy, I accepted you the way you are with all your... Because yeah, I'm honest, mate. No, you're a perfect human no, being, yeah? Just don't with all your head. shit and all your you habits. Know, you're a hypocrite, that's Go why. Down. Yeah, Go you're down. a hypocrite. Come on, We've called this discussion Trace to the Finish Line. Wendy, Tracy's come out of a shell. Do you think we'd like to see a new Tracy? And I fucked that question up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I liked Tracy at the beginning of the show, and then I thought she went, uh, she went off a bit. She didn't really seem to hmm. do anything or join in. So it's great to see her like this today. Really. She, she actually sleeps a lot. What's your opinion on that, Dane? I think, to be honest, I think she's got it in her head now that no-one likes her. Um, I mean, look, she scares the shit out of me, personally. <laughs> Why? I, I think she's great, but I honestly God think she could beat Do the crap out of Do you think she looks like Sean everyone. Penn with a wig on? Huh? Do you think she looks like Sean Penn with a wig on? Yeah, <laughs> she does. I, just, I think she could probably beat up everyone in the house at the same well, time. she's been really argumentative tonight. Is she in danger of losing any bonds with the other she's housemates? She's got a bloody <laughs> cheek to, to criticise Jerry when she goes, she goes, whatever housemate, whatever they say, she goes, oh, yeah, 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 and then she goes, Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. And then she goes behind their back and tells really them all. Yeah. Very, and she shouldn't <laughs> criticise the others at all. Does anybody here have any idea why she actually might be arguing more yeah, at the moment? Oh, God, idea. you will drag me over. I'll sit on your face. <laughs> Squeeze up. Go on. I love the eye makeup. Oh, thank you. It's killing me. I think, she... <laughs> I I think she's getting a bit too cocky because she's been up for eviction four times and she thinks she's been saved four times. But she hasn't been saved. It's just that we've had bigger fish to fry. Her time's coming. But she doesn't know this. She just thinks, oh, you know. And also, also, I say, Mr Burns, <laughs> after Hi, week two... Hello, my darling. After week two or three, she had to enlarge her vocabulary. She couldn't say enlarge her what? Her vocabulary. Oh, okay. Thanks she couldn't else. say fat and avid anymore. Really? We were getting fed up of it. So she had to enlarge her vocabulary and become human. So now we're seeing the. the I think we're seeing the real her, ah, which is that's very which is not very pleasant. No. Does anybody? Does anybody in here actually like, I like Tracy? Tracy. Oh, you I do? Like Tracy. You never shut up, do you? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you like about no, her? No, I like Tracy because I think that she's real. OK, when she got with Charlie <laughs> and real. Nikki, she was just Oh, I'll like, have a fight. Really... You two stop pulling each other's hair. Come on. Yes, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, when, when she got with um, Charlie and Nikki, <coughs> she was, like, very, you know, argumentative and kind of two-faced and whatever. But I think she's having a good time with the boys now. She's sort of, like, you know... Does anybody here think she's just a two-faced bitch? Yeah. <laughs> 
She's just a waste of space. I hope she goes. The sooner the better. You just simply don't like her, do you? Uh, absolutely. Pooped. And why is that? Totally waste of space. Honestly, she is. <laughs> no, she's just come out. We didn't know nothing about oh, her. And all of a sudden... Go easy on the on. poor cow. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy on the poor cow. She's got to say. All she's ever doing is saying, get over it, sort it out, uh, having go at people, but she hasn't got any solutions. She hasn't got anything useful to do in response. Aren't you, Mr Know-it, all of you been in the house? <laughs> well, once or twice. <laughs> so you, you know the game inside out, don't you? Well, yeah, you know, you occasionally play these things. <laughs> but at least at least she's straight with people. Does anybody have an opinion on that? Stop. No, go away, Steve. Yeah. I've got another loser. Oh, no, she, she just says whatever, really. She just goes with the flow. She's the nice biggest deal. two-faced woman you'll ever meet. She's having a guy at Ziggy now because all of Ziggy's friends is not there to defend yeah. him. This straight sounds like... Straight attack. You know what? This has sounded like she could be guillotined at any moment. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> OK, uh, uh, well, everybody is a bit down on... OK, well, we've got a friend on the phone. Who better to talk about this than Tracy's best friend, Ben? Hiya, Ben. Hi, Tate. How are you? Yeah, all good, mate. Yourself? I'm not too bad. Do you think we're seeing the real Tracy? Uh, you're starting to now, mate. Yeah, definitely. She's, uh, she's definitely coming out of skin since uh, Charlie and that Mickey's gone. Do you think she's made any true friends in the house? Um, I wouldn't have said she would keep them when she's left the house. I mean, it's just uh, the fact that you're in, in the house with a load of people, isn't it? Do you think she's been staring up shit in there? Uh, maybe a little bit, but then who don't? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think she could actually win? Do you think she's got any chance of winning? Uh, yeah, I think she's got a good chance. Can I hear all that from the studio audience? Yeah. Are we divided on that? No. OK, thank you, Ben. No, I say... Bye-bye. Bye. Wendy, do you think she could actually win? Well, I, d no. I don't know, you see, cos... Just say no. <laughs> oh, no, don't I say no, Wendy. Let it roll. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I really... I'm not at all sure now. She has been quite outspoken tonight, and it's good to see she's got a bit of spark in her, you know, and she obviously knows a fake from uh, an original, sorry, from a genuine, and... Uh, but we won't go there, will we? Um, <laughs> but, um... I'm not sure. You see, I wouldn't even mind if Liam won. F forget that he had that money awarded him. I think he's a, he's a, a decent chap. He's the only the only one who's never ever he's gone against anything he said. Um, why do you think the other housemates voted for her over Brian? Huh? I think I think that it's it's a simple fact that no one thinks that Brian's going to be voted out, um, and I think that's probably why they've done that. I think, mm. and okay. when you've got people like Brian and Liam in the house, you know, I, I don't think there's any chance anyone like Tracy can win it. Anyway. Okay, over to the executioners. You've got nothing good to say tonight. What's anybody <laughs> else's opinion here? Why do you think the housemates voted for her over Brian? You look like you want to say something. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Get your ears waxed. Anyone else? Anyone else hear that question? Because I've forgotten what it was. Uh, can somebody? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think he's he, safe. Yeah. Everyone loves him. Yeah. He's got to win it. He's got yeah. to win it. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is playing a game like that? Why? Well, do tell. Do tell. Brian Axel gives it all the big in, in the diary room, but in real life, he is playing a game. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Well, after all that, I think it's time we took a look at some exclusive footage of Liam chatting to Jerry about Tracy. Yeah, well, I think everybody's warmed up there in the last couple of days, so. She's obviously making an effort. I mean, that's all we've constantly, for the last uh, two well, or a week or something, all I've heard is people saying to her, bloody hell, yeah, Chase, I've never seen this side of you. Yeah, I saw a different side of her, and now I understand why she's lonely, because she fucked it up completely with me and with Ziggy. Do you think, Wendy, do you think there's too much talking going on behind people's backs? I think there is. It's... I'm uh, much fun as I have enjoyed watching Big Brother. It has been a slightly boring this week, and today it's it's only just started to spark up again when the the arguments over doing the shopping list, and and now with Tracy kicking off. But I do think it's unfair that they then go and speak. They'd have a conversation with one person and then promptly go into another mm. room and give a completely different version of it. I think to, that's to Big Brother in person. general. I think the, the only person, Jane. Do you think they should be more straight with each other? I don't think there's, it's never going to be like that. Um, Why? You know, the, the people that get picked to do the show are, you know, usually nuts. 
apart from the celebrity <laughs> one. <laughs> but, um, but um, no, I think, to be honest, the only... Oh, only... don't start me now, Dane Bowers. <laughs> don't start me now. I've seen that video. <laughs> 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 oh, don't go there, I'm tired. So you think you think this they're specifically picked because they're a bit unscrewed? I think so. I mean I've got to be honest, the only person who's ever been up front the whole way through is Liam. Do you I think any of them are actually real friends in there? <laughs> no. I mean, they'll, they'll be friends outside because they'll get a bit more publicity if they're seen together. Yeah. Do you think any of them anyone, are actually anyone. real friends in there or is it just showbiz shite? I think that um, Brian's a true person. Oh, I think... your oh, thank you very much. I like yours too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's a true person. I think he's real. He's himself. He speaks what he's got on his mind, and you know, he's just he's cool. He's a straight talker. Yeah. So you really like him? I really do. Tell yeah. The biggest fake in the house. Yeah. Are you ever gonna <laughs> shut the fuck up? <laughs> Verbal diarrhea here. Have you been gargling with x lax <laughs> Christ almighty. Here, I'll tell you what, mate. You have it. You have it. Do you want to read that? Now, it's time for the part of the show that fellow Liverpudlian Wayne Rooney... Who the fuck is he? He described <laughs> as harder to follow than a Spot the Dog book. It's the eyepiece. <laughs> I think there's a subliminal game plan going. He's worn the English, Irish, Scotland and Wales T-shirts. So he's trying to reach out to all of the people to try and vote him in, to keep him in. Right, you win. Hey, the turns are fat as fuck as well. See you later. Bye. I hope John T goes out of the Big Brother house because I do cannot stand his farting. I hope Liam will win. Vote for Liam. Is anybody else sick and tired of listening to Ziggy? on about what we all think of him. Well, I'll tell you what we think of him. I better not. Liam is getting cocky and clever on what he did to Amy, the dirty... And Carol... <sighs> Remember, you can send your messages to the mouthpiece or send your videos to the eyepiece via our website or send them directly from your, mo from your mobile phone by texting them to 07730 444 Texts cost your standard network MMS rate. It's time for us to take a quick break and time for me to take a piss, but I'll see you again in a few minutes. Piss break. <laughs> To Big Brother's Big Mouth. Still with me are Wendy Richard. Yeah! And star of a raunchy video, Dane Bowers. Yeah! <laughs> and of course, the studio audience. Yeah! Now, who better to talk about Big Brother than the Twitchers of West London's Wetland Centre? And what better way to get their opinions than by dumping a talking box in the middle of the wilderness? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Out of all the housemates, who's being a tit? Oh, Ziggy's the biggest tit of all. Ziggy is a complete and utter tit. And he does look like Cliff Richard, and he does sound like Cliff Richard. And I'm sure he would love to be Cliff Richard. How has anyone been sticking their beak in where it doesn't belong? I think Carol's got the biggest sticky beak. Carol, she's a bit too mumsy, I think. She would annoy me, and I bet she smells too. Do you think any of the housemates will come out with egg on their face? Cara Louise needs a good egg on her face for saying she should be a minor celebrity. Tracy might have egg on her face um, because of stripping down to her underwear and trying it on with the boys. But, you know, good luck to her, frankly. So who's top of the pecking order? I think Carol, by far the bossiest. Yeah, top of the pecking order is definitely John T. Brian or Liam? <laughs> Got some visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tonight was the moment of truth for the housemates, as Big Brother found out what they were really thinking. So we've decided to have a look at their individual answers, and we've called this discussion, yawn, home truths. <laughs> Let's look at the first clip. 
Do you enjoy moaning? No. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mr Bowers, does Carol just enjoy moaning too much? Um, I don't think she knows she's doing it most of the time. Do you think you could make her moan? <laughs> <laughs> you seen the video? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having, I'm having horrible, horrible visions now. <laughs> and what are those visions? <laughs> I don't think we need to talk about Carol moaning. God, no. Wendy, uh, do you think she's a party <laughs> pooper? Oh, Carol, I want to know about this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to tell him all about the video, Dane? No. <laughs> no, he likes to hide his light under a bushel. Never mind, moving swiftly on. Do you oh, think she's a party well, pooper? You see, I thought a dried Carol... up old husk of a cow. <laughs> oh, please don't. We mustn't be uh, uncharitable. No, I, th I thought she's, she has done a good job in looking after them in the house, whether they wanted to be looked after or not. She's cooked for them, she's cleaned. Because, let's face it, they're totally... Do you think that's a power trip, though? She's a certain... Yeah, but they're incapable them. of looking after themselves. At least she's looked after them. Give them... So she's like a mother figure credit. in there? She is. Oh, someone over here is striking. Oops! <laughs> Flat shoes and over his arse. Come on, what do you think? Squeeze up there, love. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <laughs> I'm going to take this. That's Carol's raison d'etre. What else has she got? Nobody God. fancies her. Raison d'etre? Are we in France? Very much. Nobody fancies her. What has she got you to think do? That could be? Well, <laughs> I'm a lady. So am I. <laughs> OK, let's take a look at the next clip sometimes. Are you jealous of Brian's relationship with Amanda? No. <laughs> OK, you've got a lot of opinions here. Do you think Liam just misses actually being close to someone, physical contact? Oh, he misses the adoration. He misses that. He was the big man, the alpha male, with, with moobs. Moobs, like, yeah, man boobs. But we can't, <laughs> but we can't help that. Yeah. And he misses oh, you're it. you're a bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should meet my mum. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? Um, uh, what about Liam? What about Liam? About Liam. <laughs> <laughs> he he's Absolutely. definitely jealous. He's, he's definitely jealous, jealous yeah. of the relationship. Yeah, yeah. But he's, he's, because he's had the thing with Amy, it's sort of like, oh, well, I can't really be, you know, how I want to be with Amanda because everyone will look at me, look on me as a target. Do you think this will take a toll on him and Brian's friendship? Oh, yes. Yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. Of course it will. Even if they both don't want, you know, don't want to on the outside, their psyche won't allow yeah. it to not happen. Yeah. He already has. Yeah. yeah. Hold on one minute. Someone else got an opinion. Hold on. Well, I've got a feeling that people have got mistaken with having a sister relationship and actually having a relationship. Yes, and I, I think agree. Yeah. That he is having a sister relationship with them and that is it. That okay. Is that. okay, moving swiftly on, we're going to get another clip. Do you feel at a disadvantage to your fellow housemates? Yes. Wendy, do you think the old housemates have been welcoming enough to the new ones or do you think they're just being territorial? Please no, say yes. I think they're being very territorial yeah. and in a way it's not fair yeah. on, on those from the halfway house. I don't think they've had a fair crack at the whip, quite honestly. And I know I'm sure John John's going to give them a crack of a whip. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> well, it could liven things up a bit in there. I um, think we really need right, that, they... don't you? Eh? We think we really need something to liven up in there. I mean, all right, I know they go on about his farting and everything, but, I mean, uh, ignoring that, I think he's quite a nice bloke, and he's not stupid. They seem to dislike anyone who is more intelligent than they are. <laughs> OK, let me get over to Mr Shipmouth there. Do you think... <laughs> do you think John T can ever be accepted by the other house? I'm sure, I'm sure you've got something to say. <laughs> well, no, no, he's not going to be accepted, but let's be honest, he's got probably one of the best chances of winning. No. Yes, he has! Zip it! Zip it! No, no, John T's got one of the best chances of winning. Zip it! Have you quite finished? I'll come back to you. <laughs> uh, OK, pull the chain when you've finished. OK, here's clip number four. Are you attracted to any of your fellow housemates? Yes. <gasps> it's Liam, man, we all know him. <laughs> Liam, OK, I'm over in Queer Corner with my husband. I want you to tell me who Jerry actually fancies in the house, cos you've got very strong opinions. Who does he fancy in well, the house, Michael? I, come I on, think come it's on. pretty obvious that Jerry fancies Ziggy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Why would that be, Michael? How would you tell? No, because Jerry's already said the, the type of man that he likes, and Ziggy's the only one that falls within that bracket. And what is that bracket? Smaller than him. Smaller kind in of a way, bit more Michael. effeminate, not as in, <laughs> okay, not as Michael. in penis size, <laughs> as in height. Mo moving swiftly on, can we just roll that next clip? Are you enjoying life in the Big Brother house? <sighs> she doesn't like all the petty. But no one likes to kill. I know. There we go. Yes. Oh. Dane. Yes. Why is Cara Louise not enjoying herself anymore? Um. I just think, I've got to be honest, the new housemates, I, I actually disagree, I think the new housemates are kind of rightfully sort of treated as a bit of outsiders, because the others have been through so much more than they have. Um, and I think that she's, she, I mean, the thing is, I think we were saying earlier, she's too nice to be in the house, she's a nice girl, but she's really boring. Should um, she get involved with them more? Push herself on them? He's going to get it in a minute. He? he really is, I can't believe him. Go on. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, no, I, I just think that she's, she's nice, but she's just she's boring, boring, really. She's she's nice is really boring, nice. isn't it? That's why I'm vile. <laughs> she's nice to look at, and then she opens her mouth. Say that again, goes, she's nice. She's nice to look at, and then she opens her mouth, and it all goes wrong. Can I just segue? Can I just segue back to Segway? Jerry? Segue? Raison d'etre? He's a pomp. <laughs> Jerry is a pomp. OK, honey, he's, I'm running out of time now. He's a pompous ass. He's a pompous. Well, <laughs> that's all from me for tonight. A big thanks to my guests. Thank you. And this absolutely amazing audience, the best yet. See you tomorrow. I'm off for a shag. Good night. 21, 21, 22, 16. To vote for Carol, call 090 21, 21, 22, 02. To vote for Jerry, call 090 21, 21, 22, 13. To vote for Jonty, call 090 21 21 22 21. To vote for Carl Louise, call 090 21 21 22 22. To vote for Liam, call 090 21 21 22 18. At least 10 pence from each call will be donated at charity, details of which can be found at channel4.com slash big brother.